everyone, I'm Melissa Bubbles and welcome back to my channel. Today it is the 1st of August. It is my birthday month. I'm so excited. Um, so I thought I would do a July favourites for you. Since it's the end of the month, start of the month, I want to show you what I've been loving last month. So let's get into it. I'll start off with makeup and skincare. Um, the first thing I want to show you is these. They are the NYX Liquid Suede's um, lip stick, cream lipstick. Um, I first got given this colour, which is Pink Lust absolutely beautiful hot pink if you follow me on instagram you probably would have seen a picture of me wearing this um i fell in love with this one so when i decided to go to the burke street opening of nyx at priceline i picked up four more these ones and i picked up cherry skies which looks like that beautiful color I'm actually wearing Sandstorm on my lips at the moment. It's this beautiful colour here. I'm wearing it today. Um, I picked up this one here, which is Soft Spoken, a pinky and nude. And then I have Tea and Cookies, this beautiful pink colour. The colours on the packaging are exactly what the colours are in, in, the, in the lipstick. But um, they stay on for a really long time um, on my lips. They also don't feel dry and they don't crack, which is a really good thing. And they also keep my lips really, really smooth, which is another good thing. So loving those. The next thing that I'm loving are these nail polishes. They look awesome for one they are the gel nail polishes from l'oreal um i'm wearing this middle one at the moment this one is marshmallow power so it's got the gel on one side and the color on the other they just come off like that pretty cute um, there's also Endless Candy Heart, which is a beautiful purple. Same thing, the gel's on the other side. And Unlimited Lolly Pink. This one comes out more of a hotter pink than you see in here. But I love the pastels. The other day, a couple of my nails broke and I was like, oh. So I had to chop them all off. And I usually put a light or a pastel colour on my nails when I have shorter nails. Just so it doesn't look bad. So on to skincare. I have been loving this Harvest Garden Rose Facial Mist with Raspberry and Blueberry Spray. So this comes in a set of three. Um, it's like a facial mask thing, but um, I've actually been using this on its own before I put my moisturizer on and it's amazing. I love it. And for face masks, I have been loving the Swiss Manuka Honey Detoxifying Facial Mask. I did do a first impressions on this. I'll leave the video here somewhere. But um, yeah, I've been loving it. It's similar to the Glam Glow mask, which is good, um, but less price. <laughs> but yeah, I've been using this one because lately I've been getting really weird pimples everywhere like so i had one here but then i've got one like down here which is weird like i get it around that time of the month sorry everyone but true i get hormonal breakouts so this has come in handy just to draw out all that gunk i also forgot my Becca Jaclyn Hill highlight. Um, I do keep the packaging. 
like if you are one of those people who keep the packaging because it's just beautiful. Um, I'm wearing this today. I brought it out and I was like, oh, I might wear it again. And I've just been wearing it a lot. So it's just the champagne pop color. It's beautiful. I'm loving it. Loving it. Um, just gives me a nice shine. Um, and yeah, it goes on really nice for me but I like it a lot. So that one I've been keeping in the packaging because it's gold and it's beautiful. And I also have the Swiss packaging as well. <laughs> so I don't only do it for makeup, I do it for um, skincare as well. Uh, the next one is my Bioderma. I just started this bottle because I ran out of my other bottle. But this one has been great on my eyes to get my eye makeup off. Um, it's for good for sensitive skin um, it's easy you just pump it I'm actually happy that I started the pump one because um, it's just so easy to get out you just press the you just press the pumpy thing and it just comes out instead of like but yeah um, <laughs> it gets all my makeup off and it doesn't irritate my skin which is a good thing now I want to show you some books that I have been looking through and just flipping through and keeping them on my coffee table. Um, they are by Megan Hess and I've got both of them. They look like this, they're absolutely beautiful books. This one's called The Dress and this one's called Coco Chanel. So the Coco Chanel one is the latest one that's come out. And if you just look through it, it's just got all beautiful pictures, can you see that, of Chanel. So I just really like looking through those pictures. And it's got like a silver outline, which is nice. And this one here is, it has the gold and it's just got the dress, the iconic moments in fashion. So she's just... Um, put like all different dresses here and these are all different stars and uh, that's yeah <laughs> that was pointless but um let me just flick through and find my favorite she's got a lot of different ones in here like all different um stars like I'm trying to find my favorite she's in here somewhere Okay, so my absolute favorite is the Marilyn picture. Um, it just got a little bit of the dress that Marilyn wears. It's just got a little bit of um, information. And um, it goes through, at the start, it goes through in the contents what is actually in the book. So she breaks it down into designers, icons, weddings, music, film, and the Oscars. So she's just picked women from different um, music categories, weddings, and um, icons, and all of that sort of thing, and just drawn an iconic dress and then written a little bit about it. So I've been loving flicking through these two books. They just sit on my coffee table and they look beautiful. And the second last thing I want to show you is my bullet journal. This one is from Kiki K. It has a gold outline and it is a whitish kind of pinkish journal with gold polka dots. Um, I started bullet journaling a little while ago because I saw um, a video and I was like oh that would be really good so what bullet journaling is is a book where you can write or draw absolutely anything in it that you want to put in it like lists shopping lists weekly lists um, quotes you can put monthly calendar you can put whatever you want in it um, so I drew up my the rest of the month like the rest of the year in these two pages and I just put some pictures in here like that's just an example and I've actually been really loving going through this book and just seeing like my process and um 
writing out and just being creative and drawing little pictures and um, just writing out lists like the lists have been helping a lot so I can go back and go oh yeah I need to do this and this and this um, I've even got like savings here and there was this uh, video that I was watching with bullet journaling and um, she had read this book by this guy I can't remember what it was but it just said like stuff about getting things done and the art of stress-free productivity so um, I actually wrote out that list just so um, I can read it get inspired by it it's just working out really well and it like has an index so the index just tells me what page that those things are on so the getting things done thing is on page one to five Then you've got savings reading list um, goals so I've even put in goals and just some goals there I'm not going to show you what they are but I've just written down what kind of goals I want to get to or do um, I also did this one today because I love the quote wake up and make up I put it on my Instagram page and then I was like I can draw this in my journal so um, it's just something that has given me like a creative outlet um, also just to put my lists in and I carry this with me everywhere just so I can jot down everything that I need to and then I don't forget anything so that has been awesome and I have my last favourite for this month has been watching Full House. <laughs> I'm going wholesome here. I loved Fuller House. I'm so happy that they brought that out and I think they're making up another season. Um, but I thought, well, Netflix has it now so I'll just watch all the seasons. And I do remember a lot of the episodes from when I was younger. So when I watch it, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. But yeah, it's been good to watch. All right, thank you so much for watching my favourites. Let me know if you liked anything or what your favourites are for the month of July and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.